Hello everyone once again for uh, another PhotoP tutorial. Uh, very quickly uh, I'm just going to show you how to save a file, how to load up a file and uh, the beauty of PhotoP is you can ch you can save it as a PSD file which is a Photoshop style file uh, into your own documents, into your own area and then you can reload it and uh, it's excellent and obviously once you finish then you can change, you can save it as a PNG or a JPEG or whatever other format that you want to save it to. Okay, okay, so I've got my file here, my original file. I've gone file and it's as simple as save as PSD. Now when you click on save as PSD, it'll ask you for the location or wherever you want to put it or it might just put it um, inside the download toolbar over here. I'm then just going to drag it into my documents where I want, want it saved and there you go, I have it, DVD cover version 1. Okay, okay. Now if I want to load it back up, okay, so if I open up a new window of photo P, it won't automatically load up, so it'll come up with this uh, with this dialog here. So all you do is open from computer, and then you just browse for it. And you find it, once you've found it, you double click it, and it loads it up. Absolutely excellent. Okay, with your layer stack here on the right hand side, which you need to evidence, you know, as part of R 2 when you get to it. So it's absolutely brilliant. Now when you finish with your file, um, now obviously your file and, and the DVD cover that you make is going to be a lot better than what I produced here, because this was just a sort of tutorial, just to explain to you. Uh, what uh, how to use it how to use the software so you just go on file export as now you've got the various versions you've got png you've got pdf um you know you've got uh, you've got your jpeg gif now depending on what your resolution is asking what, what what the requirement is so if it's a high resolution file then a pdf will qualify usually a png will qualify as well jpeg in certain circumstances as well if it's going to be a web-based product then it's going to be a JPEG. Now remember, initially when we set out to do this, we saved it as a high resolution file already. Okay, and we've got the we've got the right specification for it as well in terms of the size. So it should be pretty straightforward in just exporting it straight off, you know, say um, as as a PDF, etc., or whatever you're doing. Um, so remember, it's a high resolution image, as you can see, high quality. The height and the width is correct as well. Uh, and then you literally just do save. And it should save it as a high quality image, as you can see the text, etc., is coming up. Now that all depends on whether you have you have the text loaded inside your computer, etc., in order for it to sort of work effectively, etc. But you just go and save, and uh, it'll save it as as your DVD cover. Remember, remember, this is the, the finished version. Again, I'm going to drag it into my documents, although it's not finished as such. Now it's important that you. Uh, that you, you check the format of it. I mean, in this particular instance, as you can see, you know, I've lost some of the image there, um, and in, insufficient. Ah, there we go. It's eventually loaded up, but it did get there. But you, you, sometimes you have to be a bit patient and always check, you know, how it sort of turns out. Okay, so as you can see, I mean, this, uh, the Energy Matters font has not loaded up because I don't have the font saved on my computer. So there's certain things that you've got to sort of look out for, and it's always good to sort of have a look. Of how it sort of loads up, but it's it's a high quality image which has come out with the right dimensions, and that's one of the main things that I'm looking for. Okay, okay. So uh, thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope you tune in for the next one, and uh, make sure you subscribe. Thank you.